What's up guys, welcome to IT Security Labs. And today's video is going to be very different. I normally show you guys all my labs at home and share with you what I've been learning and how I've been learning and how I have my own home lab set up and what my goals are on my channel. But today I'm going to be recording a response to this video that I found on IT Career Questions. I've been following IT career questions for a while and I have a lot of respect for Zach and I think that he has wonderful content. And today I'm just going to add more to what he said about the A plus versus uh, a CCNA is a certification. So this is just me respectfully adding content and also just reacting to some of the things that I saw. And uh, the first thing that I noticed is that Zach talks about the A plus in this a CCNA is these entry-level certifications that can get you through the door. Break each of those down and talk about which one really is the best entry-level IT certification. Let's talk about who this video is for before we begin any further. If you're looking to get into IT, if you have no experience, no degrees, or no certifications. Well, I agree that the A plus is designed for getting you through the door. I believe that that's a misconception that getting a certification is going to get you a job. I know there's a lot of jobs that require an A+, plus, but from the concept of a certification, you're supposed to be proving yourself as an IT professional who has been in the field. A certification is supposed to complement your skills, not to get you a job. If you do get an A+, plus before you get a job, there's a few things that I highly suggest which I think would be really helpful. For example, if you want to get an entry-level job, the best way is to go out there and volunteer. Volunteer at your church, volunteer at your community center. Tell everybody in your family that you want to work in IT, fix their computers, maybe create a home lab like myself. You know, go out there and learn as much as you can. But pursuing an IT certification with the goal of getting a job can get things really really messed up because I have four Cisco certifications. Knowing certifications themselves, they put a lot of pressure on you to be able to pass. And I highly doubt that a lot of people actually absorb and learn a lot of things from them. Certifications are expensive. If you're paying for them out of pocket, they can put a lot of pressure on you to just cram the material and pass and not actually fully learn anything. So my first take was, to put a certification as a prerequisite to getting a job was something that maybe might be misguiding other people. Maybe get some hands-on experience, try to fix computers at home, tinker around, build a gaming computer, fix computers for a family, volunteer at your church, then get your A+. Plus. The second part that I wanted to add was when Zach said, now let's do a quick breakdown of each certification, starting with Cisco's CCNA. It's designed for network professionals. It specifically covers Cisco technologies, networking equipment, terminologies, and other protocols that you'd find within Cisco environments. It's an amazing certification if you're looking to become a network administrator or be even further involved in the networking field within IT. However, the CCNA does not provide technology concepts outside of networking. I believe that if anyone goes out there and gets a CCNA, they really need to be able to be able to do the basic things that a help desk person can. And anyone who can pass a CCNA with a little bit of experience, I believe they should be able to. So I agree with Zach that if you just go out there and get your CCNA, it's most likely that you're worried about the cert, which goes my point number one, that maybe pursuing a certification for your entry-level position is probably not the best thing. Maybe getting some hands-on experience while getting the certification would actually help. And I highly suggest creating labs. The last response is when Zach uh, says this. So now let me give you, in my opinion, which is the best entry-level IT certification. And that would be CompTIA's a certification. So you could go out and get your CCNA from Cisco and you might have a great knowledge of how networking works and you could get put into an entry level position, 
but you won't be able to fulfill your position to the best of your ability because you don't know how other technology concepts work. So if you're Cisco certified, it does not necessarily mean you know only about networking. And if you do know about networking, I believe that in any infrastructure centered position, networking is going to be required. After a couple of years of working at help desk and you know which path you want, or if you, even if you don't, I still think that a CCNA is not going to put you just in networking. You can still be someone who understand a little bit of networking, which I think a CCNA offers you, because I have a CCNA. There's more to the CCNA than just understanding how networking works. So someone who understands networking is really valuable to a company, especially if you work in the small to medium businesses. So dismissing a CCNA, I think that that might be a mistake. But uh, I agree that it's an A plus might be of help when you're just starting, but a CCNA definitely gets your career further. Someone with a CCNA has a better future in infrastructure than someone with an A plus. I know a lot of people with a lot of A pluses out there that they don't even put on the resume anymore because they have seven, eight years of experience. So I just wanted to contribute and I really appreciate this content from Zach and I think it's wonderful. And I just think that uh, a different perspective can help to this conversation. And I know a lot of people will have different opinions about this. And I'm one of those people who just wanted to share and also just let you know what I think. I think CCNA is helpful. I think A plus is helpful. But at the end of the day, an A plus can be skipped. You can still get your CCNA later if you decide to. But either of them will not help you greatly get a job compared to the eagerness to learn, the ability to want to volunteer at a church to get free experience, to volunteer at your community center to get experience and fix people's computers. I think as an employer, I would listen to those people more than someone who went and memorized questions in an A plus exam. I just wanted to contribute and I hope I will see you guys in my next video.